Hi, in this video, I will be showing you uh, one of the questions uh, asked by one of your classmates um, on based on systems of linear equations, uh, which is a word problem on distance, rate and time. A motorboat travels 116 kilometers in 4 hours going upstream. It travels 220 kilometers going downstream in the same amount of time. What is the rate of the boat in still water and what is the rate of the current? As this is a distance uh, rate time problem, D for distance or for rate D for time. So we need a table connecting rate, time and distance. Rate is measured in kilometers per hour in this problem. Time is in terms of hours and distance is r multiplied by t which is kilometers per hour times hour so it is kilometers so we have information for the upstream of the boat and then downstream we have two information one for the upstream one for the downstream upstream means um, the boat is traveling against the current downstream means the boat is traveling along with the current when the boat travels against the current the one rate is not favorable to the other, so the two rates need to be subtracted. When in downstream, because it goes, the boat goes along with the current, one rate is favorable to the other, so it speeds up the process, so it is x plus y. Where we here assume x is the rate of the boat in still water, that's what the question is asking us. And then it also asks us what is the rate of the current. So we have two unknowns in the problem because there are two unknowns we will call them two different variables one for the speed of the boat one for the um, rate of the current which is y so x kilometers per hour is boat rate y kilometers per hour is the current rate so when you do upstream keep in mind you have to subtract the two variables two rates when you do downstream you have to add the two variables because one is favorable to the other uh, the time taken in the problem is for both upstream and downstream we have only the same amount of time which is four hours so that's what goes here as in terms of hours same amount of time the distance column is rate multiplied by time so you multiply this column which is x minus y times the time taken which is four so 4 times x minus y but the distance uh, upstream is given to be 116 so we set up an equation that way. For downstream it is x plus y times 4 rate multiplied by time so x plus y multiplied by 4 that is equal to 220 which is given in the problem the distance is 220. Now we have two equations two unknown so it's easy to solve it so 4 times x minus y equal to 116 call it equation 1 so we can divide both sides by 4 and we get x minus y equal to 29 it is still equation 1 then we need one more equation in x and y which is x plus 4 times x plus y equal to 220 here. So divide both sides by 4. So we get x plus y equal to 555. So this is equation 2. So we are going to take these two equations x minus y equal to 29 and x plus y equal to 55. We are going to add the two equations. So once you know that the equations, the coefficients are equal and opposite, uh, then you add or subtract. So just 2x here, we are going to add the two. If I add these two, it is 84. So now you divide both sides by 2. So we get x equal to 42. Once you do x, you can solve for y by substituting 
x in any one of the two equations that we got. Substitute x equal to 42 in equation 2 or equation 1. So we get x plus y. We will take this one, x plus y equal to 55. So 42 plus y equal to 55. So uh, solve for y, which is 55 minus 42, which is 3, 13, 1, 3. So we have to also interpret what x and y are. In the context of the problem, x is the rate of the boat in still water and y is the rate of the current. So write that in words. Um, the rate of the boat in still water is x that is 42 write the units in a word problem units are important the rate is kilometers per hour and rate of the current which is 13 kilometers per hour Hope this video helps.